Hello and welcome to part 133 of Let's Play Danganronpa. When we left off, I was just going in the database room. And I had just figured out that I could work my volume via my TV. Either that isn't working today, so it's pretty quiet. So I'll just go and change the volume up a bit. You can hear that as well as me. So, and nothing happened. I was sure nothing was going to happen. I opened my eyes and... I guess we were worried that it was going to be a bomb. To put it mildly, it, I was in a bizarre room. I mean, all the rooms we'd seen had been bizarre in their own way, but this was on another level of weird. You know what's on another level of weird? My throat is really fucked up today. I mean, my... Ah. I just really need a drink, I'm so sorry. But my throat is just completely fucked. Ah. Right. It wasn't like the other rooms, which were designed to appear terrifying. The terror simply lurked here, unabashed and not for show, but in its true form. Whoa, look at that! Hayakuri's whole arm was shaking as he pointed. As the wall lined with monitor, the wall lined with monitors, and the images displayed on those screens. Were of inside of the academy, from dormitory to the classrooms. Just about every place imaginable inside the building was visible on that wall. These are feeds from the security cameras? The footage taken by the security cameras installed around the school seems to be transmitted to these monitors. In other words, this room is watch used to watch over us. To watch us? Then this is... No doubt about it, it's the Puppet Master's room. The Puppet Master's room. He's right. I can't think of anything else it could be. So the Puppet Master watched over us from within this very room. It seems we have the answer to our question. What question? The identity of the corpse in the garden. The fact that she had the key to this room means the body belonged to the Puppet Master, Makuro Kusaba. Um, the Puppet Master's dead? She's really dead? So it would seem... Seriously? Such an unfulfilling end to have died at someone's hands other than my White Knights. The Puppet Master is dead? Is that really true? Is this really the end of everything? I mean, the person in the garden... Obviously didn't die of natural causes, which means someone. But if the puppet master's dead, we can get out of here. Finally, we can get out of this place. And now that that's settled, we need to find a way out, dudes. No. First, we investigate this room. Huh? What about a way out? If the puppet master's dead, we, that means we can escape whenever we want. But before we do that. Figuring out what the Puppet Master's objective was in constructing this game comes first. Plus, the fact that the Puppet Master was murdered is also a point of interest. Murdered? So you were thinking the same thing too, huh, Tugami? Of course I was. You only need half a brain cell and one working eye to figure out the Puppet Master was undoubtedly... Murdered. But why? And by who? What I'm saying is, to answer those questions, we need to learn about the Puppet, Master's, Puppet Master and her goals. He's made himself clear, Cockroach. Now you're banned from talking back to my wife tonight ever again. The Puppet Master's objective, and the reason why she was murdered. Togami's definitely right in thinking there might be some clues as to that in this room. The room where the Puppet Master once sat. Let's stop wasting time and get started. 
Today we uncover the truth behind the Puppet Master. Well, let's let's go and do our rounds. Talk to everybody. When you think about it, that's a lot of monitors. My eyes kind of hurt just looking at them. What an interesting comment. I wonder how Makur Kusaba's eyes fared. Why was the Puppet Master killed? That's the question we need to learn about the Puppet Master and her goals. I do kind of worry, want to know what the, why the Puppet Master was killed, but I really want. But what I really want is out of here, dude. Hurry up and find something for my white knight. Alright. It's almost ridiculous how many screens there are in this room. The puppet master watched the, over us using these monitors. If I had something like this, hmm? I could watch my white knight doing this and doing that as much as I wanted. How much is the monthly rent? Wow. So we got a security camera here, which makes no sense. Anywhere and everywhere we're always being followed by these cameras. Just how many cameras are there? What else have we got? We've got that monokuma face. Chair. That's the chair where Monokuma was sat when he was talking to Sakura. There's an array of computers here. Unlike the laptop Alter Ego was on, these appear to be fairly powerful machines. They're powered on, but they seem to be locked down. Does that mean we can't use them? Can't you, like, just force them already? Something? What era were you born in? I wonder if a puppet master was using these computers to monitor the school's network. That's how she caught Alter Ego. Most likely. But sparing your focus on things of the past does, not, does nothing for us right now. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing, I think. This. There's nothing displayed on this TV. Well, look at what we have here, next to the TV. There's an indoor antenna. Yeah, dude, this is the same indoor digital TV antenna my grandma uses. So you're saying that if we plug that antenna in, we'll be able to watch TV? Huh? TV? There comes Miss Couch Potato. I've never actually been called that before. If we can watch the TV, let's do it. Go on, do it. Well, we have been kind of starved of information about the outside world. Alright, leave it to me. I'll have this baby running faster than you can say it. Legar George Summer. I have no idea what that is, nor do I intend to try to pronounce it. But I did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making double this sure. I'm not going to miss anything when I click on this. Because guess what's happening behind here? It's a creepy looking door with Monokuma painted on it. I wonder what's on the other side. No good. The door won't open? Have you tried the key to this room? I'll give it a shot at least. Rattle, rattle. Still no luck. It doesn't. It doesn't fit in the keyhole. Does anyone else notice that I sound really different when I do this? Can you guys still hear me like this? Huh? Can you still hear me like this? I was speaking in my bottle. <laughs> I'm a baby. I got a bottle. Dang. That's no big deal. The puppet master's dead, so nothing else is gonna happen. Yeah, you're right. I'm kind of curious as to what's creepy behind what behind this what's behind this creepy Monokuma door. When curiosity doesn't open locked doors, there's nothing I can do. Azine is right about what she said, but Puppet Master's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's wrong? I've good news for Mr. and Ms. Couch Potato. 
It looks like she's all good, dude. Really? Oh, it's left. It's turn around. Do it. Ah, Puppet Master, Puppet Master. You tell us to give up the outside world while you're in here watching all of this by yourself. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Huh? Oh, crap. Why the hell are you doing that right now? Huh? That's footage from the security camera in this room, isn't it? What? That ain't right. Oi vey, what are you doing? Hmm, something's wrong, dude. It's not just something wrong with you, everything about you is wrong. This TV should only be hooked up to the indoor antenna, dude. There's no reason it should be showing the security camera footage. What about changing the channel? Ah, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I heard he changed the channel several times. But despite that, the image on the screen remained unchanged. It continued to show us standing in the data processing room. What the heck? Could it be broken? No, but maybe the TV itself is some sort of trick. A trick? What kind of trick? I can't tell you that, but. What? Hmm? Long time no see, bitches! Monokuma? Why are you- I- I thought you were supposed to be dead! Me? Dead? Don't make me laugh, you scumbags! And your personality changed too. Of course, it's been two very long years. It would be weirder if I didn't change it. it hasn't been that long, dude. It's only been like 12 hours. Anyway, why are you back on? That, yes, that. I love it when you guys make that face. I want to see the looks on your faces when hope turned to, into despair. You saying you pretend to be dead for that? It's pretty unusual for a bear to play dead, isn't it? Normally it'd be you guys playing dead. Oh, this is amazing. I can't stop laughing. On that note, time you guys started despairing for the future, throw away your hope-ridden pasts, and rebel in this ac academic coliseum. No way, it's not over? But we were gonna get out of here. You want out? You're still saying that? If we have fixed goals already, it's not possible to leave the academy. Plus, it's not like life here is all bad. I mean, no matter where you live, bad stuff will always happen. Screw you! There's nothing worse than this. Which is to say, this is despair? Woo! I'm tired of laughing. So let's get down to business. Business? That TV over there, you guys stumbled onto something pretty cool. Yes sir, without that TV, the story of this academic academy would end up buried beneath the sands of time. I knew it, there's something more to that television that meets the eye. It's been plugged in into the indoor antenna, so why is it showing the security camera footage? Wouldn't you just love to know? Alright, there's a super special service I'll tell you about that TV. The television is, just as it should be, displaying the signal being received by the antenna. No tricks. What do you mean? If it's showing, just showing what the antenna receives, then why are we... You're so dim-witted. Figure it out already. Basically what I'm saying is, every second of this academic coliseum is being broadcast live, nationwide, to rave reviews! Huh? Every second of this academic... Coliseum is being broadcast live nationwide to rave reviews. I couldn't do the exact same voice again. You said as many times as you want, but I and I still won't understand. I know what the words mean, yet I have no idea what it means. What do you mean, being broadcast live nationwide? Is this some kind of joke? Don't tell me you hijacked the broadcast signals. The security camera footage is being aired on TV? I don't care who you are, dude. That's not possible. 
The fact that your minds are blown by that just goes to show how little you guys know about the real world. As long as you know a trick or two, hijacking some silly TV signals is easy mode. You're not joking around? Of course not! My nerves creaked and groaned and grated together. They made a sharp and pleasant and clearly audible sound. There was meaning in everything. At every turn, I grudgingly left you hints to help you tackle the Academy's mysteries, and even went as so far as to lure you guys into this room. You think I'd do all that without a reason? It is all for the sake of the audience, following this unparalleled display of live public despair. As the director of Despair Entertainment Productions, it was the least I could do. Our slogan is, Real Despair Entertainment, and this is extreme reality programming if I ever saw it. You're lying, if this was being shown on TV, then the police wouldn't, the public would be up in arms. Yeah, dude, there's no way but help wouldn't have come by now. Help already has come. Huh? In the end, this isn't their problem, is it? Even if someone watching shouted, they're in danger, they wouldn't actually do anything, would they? That's just how people are, not that I understand, or even really care. It would require astron astronomical funding and equipment to hijack the main and maintain control of public flat broadcast waves. You want to know why I went so far? Well, you see, that's still a secret. You guys have your work cut out for you, don't you? Work cut out for us? Of course, I'm talking about that. Ah, how I missed that sound. I've actually heard that song before the anime. We got a corpse here. We'll be holding a class trial pretty soon, so make good use of the time you've got. Huh? A class trial? That means... I'm pretty sure that that oop poo 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 is a lot shorter than that oop poo 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 etc. on the screen. I'll leave Marikuma file number 5 over here for you. Best of luck. Well, I better be off. It's gonna get pretty hectic. I'm expecting a ton of fan reaction today from this. I'm so excited. Well, shit. And with that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving behind a nonsensical, incomprehensible truth and despair. We all remained there, unable to move for some time. Never mind moving, it was difficult to even stay standing. I am so totally freaking lost, dude. All this stuff about public despair, and why the heck is he alive? Right when I thought we were finally going to be able to get out of here. And what does it mean, a class trial? It's obvious a class trial is a class trial. In other words, we have to determine who the culprit is. The culprit who killed Yuko Kirigiri. What? What the heck are you talking about? Wasn't it supposed to be Makuro Kusaba who died? The corpse is a woman. As is Kirigiri. The fact that Monokuma is up and running again means the puppet master, Makuro Kusaba, is not dead. Therefore, the corpse does not belong to Makuro Kusaba, but to Kyuko Kirigiri. I don't think of another explanation. Well, shit. That corpse is Kirigiri's? Kirigiri was murdered? No, that's not true. That can't happen. I still don't know anything about her. I haven't even got to learn what a talent is. And for it to just end like that? I can't believe that. To find out what else, Maggie can't believe. Join me for the next episode on the top right. The previous is on the top left. So, until next time, folks. See ya.